Well, today it looks like the whole city was out uh, and country. Even the local gas stations is out of toilet paper. Let's just start at that. Everywhere is out of toilet paper. But I didn't go for toilet paper. That's something that I always have plenty of. I went for tools. Canadian Tire this morning. Uh, very little customers in there. I'm actually surprised, but went and picked up some stuff. Of course, if I end up having to get stuck here for a while, I'm going to need some stuff to do some projects. So I went to go pick up this grinder and uh, some wire wheels. This isn't for the grinder. Well, it's not for the bench grinder. It's for a hand grinder. So, just got some random stuff for doing some projects. So, just in case. <laughs> so, I didn't mention this. And it's actually pretty funny the way everyone's running with toilet paper. On the way out here from work, I've seen people on bicycles going by with uh, two big things of toilet paper in their hands. Yep. Again, that's in Winnipeg, Manitoba. <laughs> we got three cases so far of the virus so far. Okay, so I was just about to open this guy up and thought maybe, hey, why not do an unboxing video? It's a Canadian tire special. <laughs> you could say I use their brand on quite a bit of other stuff, so. But just decided I might as well film it. Do an unboxing video. Oh, what did I look down at? Your your uh, thing right there, Proxy. So just thought. Look, my first tomato plants are coming in. Really? Yeah, see, this one's unfurled already. Oh, fancy, fancy. This was an impulse. We went uh, just to go do a little bit of shopping. And uh, today is the, or I guess yesterday, is the first day that the coronavirus has hit everywhere around this area. So, <laughs> so it was a mad house. It was a mad house, but believe it or not, Kitty and the entire, very few people in there. We went uh, in the morning, so... Never went for any food or toilet paper or anything. We already had plenty of that stuff. We went strictly for uh, hobby-related items that if we get self-quarantined, you can say. Uh, I got wire brushes and all kinds of other sanding-related things here to work on random projects. So, <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to get the girlfriend to hold this. I'm going to slice it open, and we're going to check it out. Remember, it's going to die at the five-minute mark. I remember. So... so. Way to go. Oh, what the hell? So, I did not touch anything. That was weird. It's still going. Almost, I think it took a picture. Yeah, you might have hit the picture button. I was holding the case. I don't think I touched anything. Well, it just flashed the light at us. I have no clue what you did there. That's so. weird. Must like me or something. Okay. So we got uh, a dog trying to get in here. <laughs> I put her in there because she was being a turkey. Turkey butt? Turducken. Okay. We got a shield. Splatter shield. This must be it all. There should be two of those shields. Yeah, one on each side. This looks like something that goes underneath the wheel to perhaps hold sawdust. Sorry, not sawdust. But sawdust. Metal shavings. Metal shavings. Another random brackets. There's two of these ones. A user manual that... <sighs> Pretty I'll, big one. I'll take that. Yeah, you might need it. No, I, I should videotape put it with the rest of it. I should videotape you putting this together. Yeah, All right. Another guard. Two, three, four, five, seven random bits here. Throw it all up there and hope I don't lose much. Now, I never bought a wire wheel for this yet, so I know I'm going to have to go back into the the headache to do that. And. Uh, this lamp here is kind of oh, normal size bulb. Huh, this bag has been ripped. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that kind, but that's okay. Okay, so it looks like everything here is assembled. It's just, I guess, they don't expect people to use the guards, so they take them off. Okay, nothing else in there. One-hander. Ah. A little greasy. And remove to lock. I kind of like how they got that lock on there if you don't want kids playing with it. That's Probably a, a good idea. Yep. And uh, the reason why I got this one, variable speed. So I can install a buffer on it. So you got the course in the fine grinder. And this one Wheel. was up to 3,400 RPM, right? Uh, 
I think it's 22 to 34, if I remember right. I thought it was 2 to 34. Uh, 2000. <laughs> for, it just says use 6 inch wheels for that. And it's a 2.5 amp motor, so we'll see. Uh, two bolts to hold it down. Now, of course, the heater <laughs> turns on. The idea with this guy here is that I'm going to keep it portable style because there's rubber feet on it. Mm hmm. So, because it has rubber feet means I don't technically have to mount it to anything. No. So, uh, I guess I could technically plug it in over here. Yeah. 20 seconds and count. Okay, well, I'll just stop it for now. And we'll give it a second here. Okay, so I'm not going to plug it in just there yet. I don't have a ground on that plug. So, you know, it actually looks very well made. And what did we pay for this? 89 bucks? I think so, yeah, 90 bucks. 90 bucks. Regular was 169, so. Seems pretty solid. But the idea is to put a buffing wheel on it. Uh, this looks to be the guard for the bottom here, which I'll install. I'm actually going to install all this crap here before I make any kind of video. I guess those are just adjustments for the shields. This guy here seems to be there's a washer in there something i'm not too sure on i don't even know why this is here okay so maybe i will have to kind of take a peek at things uh again i don't even have a light here so i was actually kind of hoping that i could actually use this light uh without turning on this like just by turning on and off the light so again i'm hoping i can use this light without having to turn the motor on who knows because it'll set up their work as light. I kind of need a work light here. Uh, the big light decided to burn out. So so it's not too big of a deal. But it's kind of using the dangly bits there. But I'll get back to you guys with this a little bit more. Probably in the daytime. Uh, again, it's just going to be a basic overview video. And uh, see where it goes from there. So I just took a quick peek at here. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice I'm on the French side. Okay, let's fix that problem. So just took a quick look in the instruction manual here, and it looks like that bottom tray I wasn't too sure on for here is just some kind of tray for whatever bits I guess you want. Might be good for polishing compound, but 2,000 to 3,400 no load. So there you guys go. And uh, hey, look, they actually sell the grounding adapter I need. <laughs> I'm actually very surprised they have that in here. Uh, normally, I'm not too worried about that, but something like this being all metal, definitely we'll use it on a grounded plug. Now, when I say I don't have a grounded plug, it's there, but the extension cord that's plugged into it isn't. Hey, it's a little flickery. <laughs> so I, I could just change the extension cord later. That's not too big of a deal, but it's a little bit of a parts list right there. So, hmm. it's kind of interesting, but uh, coolant tray is what they call this. So are you meant to dip parts into it? That's very interesting. I'm going to guess it's, uh, I, I don't know. I guess you could, no, these are all, they all vent underneath. Yeah, like, I could see air holes, so it's not like you could put any kind of water in any of those without them just leaking everywhere. So, or did I say convenient? No, well, yeah, that's interesting. So I guess that just sits on there. Hmm. There's a big washer that's in there is, I'm going to guess, they said it comes with an adapter to use a wire brush wheel. So when they say adapter, I guess they mean just a washer. Because <laughs> definitely one side of it is for sure, for sure getting a wire wheel. I bought this to put uh, a wire wheel on it. It's very rare that I'd use the grinding uh, disc on it. I think the next update I'll have to do is upgrade my little uh, belt sander. <laughs> so this thing works freaking awesome. It's a little bit of a different size. <laughs> you guys can see how small that is. They sell these little guys for like 30, 40 bucks and uh, full ball bearings. They are freaking awesome. This one just came on Amazon and then of course I had to get the power supply, which I got from work. So it's pretty good and fully spring loaded. 12 volt, just hook the power right into it, turn on and off the switch. Uh, it goes up to 24 volt. So technically I could use a very drive on it, but not too worried about it. Just thought I'd kind of show that because uh, it's kind of deciding where everything's going on here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this mobile. That way I could bring it outside, bring it inside, 
wherever I need to work. You know. And maybe to keep the metal shavings out of here and rust out of here. Yeah. Especially if I'm going to be cleaning a lot. Well, we went to go buy some uh, two by fours. Yes, beetle killed. <laughs> so I kind of picked through the pile, found some nice beetle killed, uh, not two by fours, one by fours, some one by sixes. So, eh, it's not too bad a shape. Just got these ones local. But we're going to start doing some shelving and uh, go from there. And surprisingly, the stores had everything but toilet paper, the local mm -hmm. ones. So, well, in Tums, we got the last one of those. Yeah, well, that's just stuff that, you know, normal stuff that we buy, but these are uh, very flexible, 12 foot long, so <laughs> they were flapping pretty good on the truck. Make a good paddle. Uh, I don't know about that idea. Okay, well, I guess I'll start figuring out what I'm going to do. We're also going to, I just stepped in something white. I'm going to also this extend water. this across here. Why? From water in your garden? Yeah. Really? You had to get the floor just drenched, eh? Oh, drenched. Come on, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Actually, it's probably water from your boots when you brought the wood in. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Are you guys following me? Well, got everything assembled here. Kind of don't like the idea that these guys stay loose all the time. Uh, you adjust them and then they get really loose real fast. I tried to wash her in different locations. I mean, by hand... That's about as tight as I can get it. And now it's real loose. As in, it would just fall right off. So I might have to switch that out a little bit. Play around with it a bit more. But other than that, everything seems to be pretty decent. Got everything on it here. Uh, did come with a washer, you could say, right there. Which is meant to be an adapter to use a, a wire wheel on it. But other than that, everything's together and... Uh, I don't really have anything that, that I want to grind right now to try it on because I'm going to, you know, shoot metal everywhere. But maybe I'll just try it with a 2x4 for now. Wood. Okay, so the good thing is, yes, the light does work. Oh. Okay, twist. Without it being on, so that's kind of a bonus. And, uh, yeah, that should be good. Give me some light in the workbench. But uh, also has this remove to lock feature. So no one can turn it on. That's kind of a neat idea. I still don't know why they have that tray. They call it a coolant tray. I guess if you want to dip parts that get hot, but I mean, that's not going to last very long. Okay, so I'll start it on low here. Ooh, that's some electronic motor noise there. A lot of, quite a bit of vibration, but again, it's not mounted to anything. It does have rubber feet on it, by the way, but you can see I'm kind of... Let's see if I can get it a bit better there. Light flickers a bit when I do that. That sounds good there. There. Now there's very little vibration. I do like the idea that it's adjustable, but at the same time, well, there's some good noise coming from her. Well, I'm not going to say she has the most power, so. Again, this is a small bench grinder. It's only rated at 2.5 amps, even though I think it's drawing more. I should actually put a meter on that later. The reason why I'm using wood is I don't want to put any uh, metal filings in here. Well, yep, yeah, that's better. I could barely stop that. It burnt a little bit before it could stop, so that's much better. So, that's about halfway. That's full bore now. Yeah, that takes a lot of force to stall it. <laughs> This actually, it's pretty decent. Clean up that a little bit. Not bad. Those rubber feet are actually doing very well. It's not even trying to pull away. I actually don't mind those rubber feet. Okay, 
Okay, let's keep it on low for a while. 2,000 RPM, so I could put some buffering uh, flappers on this guy. for today uh again there is a fair bit of vibration but i mean do they even balance the wheels probably not a dressing stone on it here would probably help a lot uh if i did that but i'm not too sure if i'll bother so <laughs> but other than that it seems to be good i do like the fact that it acts as a normal work light perfect and uh i can't see this making a difference yeah so i could do it like that Put this in the toolbox, keep Logan away from playing with it. Pretty much anything I want. Perfect. So I just picked this up. It was on sale for half price. That's pretty much why I got it. Uh, again, kind of an impulse buy, but I do need something, but I need to get a wire wheel on it. So, Well, this was kind of a waste of a weekend. The only thing really I'm going to be posting a video on is that little grinder right there. So, yeah, other than that, just did a little bit of, you can say, organizing, but it's needs a lot more so picked up a couple boards uh installed a few extra lights up on top of this stuff here so just some different grow lights this one here is on a swivel across the workbench so everything's just plugged into a automated switch so it's can be controlled turned on tells us how much power we're using so this guy here is a sansi that one there's a normal 60 watt light bulb because you know i had it those are both sansi's 15 watt 40 watt and uh so on but it works good uh and just doing some cleaning up here hooked up a spare surveillance system here so it's also recording but this unit's just back in the corner there so the only thing really hooked up is a usb wireless and uh that's pretty much it hdmi to the monitor it's uh cloning all the cameras from the other nvr so again you can see no cameras hooked up no network hooked up so it's strictly wireless usb wireless stick so it's just again cloning the, some of the cameras not all of them so works pretty good spy on the girlfriend <laughs> so that camera's not hooked up to it in here because there's no need and a few other ones i haven't bothered hooking up to it yet but uh, other than that not much going on of course with the coronavirus going around uh, everyone's just going crazy move that a little bit farther away from the heater but other than that, everything's going good here. We got plenty of butt wipe, plenty of food, lots of dog food. So we're good for the long haul. So, okay, well, I guess uh, you guys might be waiting a few more weeks for videos. I'm not too sure. If it melts a bit, I'll probably be doing firewood as long as they don't, you know, make a quarantine where we're not allowed to leave. We'll see. So far, there's been four cases only in Manitoba. <laughs>